It is the country's largest outdoor book fair. The Word on the Street Festival champions literacy with a yearly nod to the written word. Dozens of authors attend and the public can browse a great selection of books and magazines. Tashana Reed is right in the thick of it in Toronto. How are things at the harbour front this afternoon, Tashana? Asha, it's great. I wish you could feel the sun. I'm working on my tan right now. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we've been having a great day here. And, you know, the thing about Word on the Street is it's bringing people from all over together to celebrate their love for books. And we've had a chance to speak with uh, some of the 200 authors that are from across the country. Uh, you know, they've been doing some public readings. They've been signing books, meeting their fans. And, uh, and you know, there are tons of kids here. They're really enjoying uh, the festivities. Just over to my left, there's a big, massive stage Set up. There's been uh, programs running. There's even a boat that uh, is having a special reading from an author so people can go on the waterfront, which is one of the benefits of being at the harbour front. Uh, but again, it's all about celebrating Canadian authors, Canadian talent. And one of those people is Kelly Armstrong. I have her book right here, Deceptions. Kelly, welcome. Thanks Thank for joining you. us. So tell us, I mean, your book is uh, targeting a teen audience. What would you say teen readers are looking for these days? Teen readers today are really looking for a good read. Same thing anybody is. And anyone who thinks that there's something specific for teens is misunderstanding. They want a good story, a fast-paced, exciting story, and characters they can enjoy and relate to. And tell us a bit about your book, Deceptions. I mean, this deals within the fantasy realm. It seems, a, this one seems a little scary. It is. This one is actually more for uh, adults. So uh, this one, uh, the premise, it's uh, book three in the uh, Canesville series. And the uh, premise is it's, uh, it's a uh, privileged young woman who discovers her parents are, that, uh, that uh, she is uh, adopted and she's the child of convicted serial killers. So yes, it definitely has some dark things to it. Uh, for fantasy elements, it has lighter things like omens, portents, second sight, none of my usual werewolves and demons. I know, you definitely, and you of course have published a range of books, but yeah. when you go into, you know, sitting down and thinking of what the next book is going to be, where do you pull inspiration from? I pull inspiration from everything I read. I love to read, so it is, it it is going there and saying, what kind of stories do I want to write? I've been reading for so long that I very early started started saying, what do I, what can I take from those books and to tell my own story? So every book I write is exactly what I would love to read. Well, that sounds good. And I mean, for you, what has uh, the highlight been for you today? The highlight today has definitely been signing. It is it is meeting the readers who have never met me be before and bring their dog-eared, well-read Read copies of a book I might have written 10 years ago. I love that. Now, if we go back to your teen years, now I know I, I loved, uh, oh, I was reading a bit of everything, but what books were you reading when you were a teen? When I was a teen, there was not a lot of what we would call young young adult. There was Judy Bloom and there was Lois Duncan, who I loved, but we very quickly moved into adult fiction. So I moved into reading fantasy and horror, which is probably not surprising given what I currently write. So lots of Stephen, Stephen King and lots of high fantasy. Oh, sounds good. Well, Kelly, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, Asha, we're still here for another hour, so stay tuned next hour and we'll have another author. Sounds good. Thanks, Tashana.